Alleluia! Awesome. None of us are pure and all have sinned. We all come short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So how can you attain righteousness if we're all sinners? Well, that's what we're celebrating today. You see, Jesus hung on the cross for your sins. He was bruised for our iniquities. By his stripes we are healed. So he took upon our sins so we could take upon his righteousness. The Bible says that you are without excuse. That God has made himself revealed to you. Hallelujah. Trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. All praise to the Most High. God bless you, brother. The word of the Lord is sharper than any double-edged sword. The Bible says that if you confess Jesus Christ is Lord with your mouth, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. The Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death but that the free gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, there's no condemnation for those who believe, but for those that don't believe, they're condemned already. But it's very clear, the Bible tells us that unbelievers are without excuse because God has made himself manifest to all of us. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yahweh, I am Elohim, the Creator, Abba Father, Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end, Adonai, Lord. I come to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We find the gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Christ died for our sins according to scripture. That he was buried. And that he rose again the third day according to scripture. These things with man are impossible. But with God, nothing is impossible. What do you believe in? Where will you spend eternity? The Bible talks about having a soft heart. So you can accept the seed. When a preacher drops seed, will you have a soft heart so that you can believe? You believe in something. Do you believe that everything came from nothing? The scientific impossibility that everything came from nothing? See, in Romans 1.20, it tells us that unbelievers are without excuse. That God has revealed himself to you. You see him in your creation. Everything we see is created. That Jeep was created. Everything is created. And we give all praise today to the guy who died for our sins, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He died for our sins so we could take upon his righteousness. The Bible tells us that no man is perfect and all fall short of the glory of God. But that the wages of sin is death and the free gift of God is eternal life. So will you have a soft heart? Will you ask God to create a new heart in you? To renew a right spirit within you? Hallelujah. You can be saved today. You can say a little prayer to Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in the name of the Holy Spirit. God is good all the time. If you need prayer, come talk to me. How you doing, brother? Hallelujah. All praise to the Most High God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let me ask you a question. How much alcohol do you need to drink before you know what alcohol tastes like? How much weed do you need to smoke before you know what it feels like? Let me tell you that there's freedom at the cross from all your addictions. There's freedom at the cross from all your pains. For those he sets free, he sets free indeed. Will you believe? 
The Bible says that if you confess Jesus Christ with your mouth and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. So what's the gospel? The gospel is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That Jesus died for our sins according to scripture. That he was buried. And then he rose again the third day according to scripture. Why would he do that? Because he created a new covenant by his blood. And by his blood we are justified. We are justified by faith. And the fool says in his heart that God is not real. Professing to be wise, they become fools. But you are without excuse. In Romans 1.20, God tells us, Hallelujah, sir. In Romans 1.20, God tells us that he has made himself manifest to us all by his creation, his invisible powers, his attributes, his eternal Godhead. God can live within your heart if you receive him. How's your soil? Ask today for a fresh, clean heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All praise to the Most High God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are saved by grace through faith, not of works. It is a gift of God, lest any man boast. You are saved by grace through faith. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man boast. The Bible says to cast all your anxiety on God. Are you dealing with anxiety? God makes it clear in 1 Peter 5, 7. The Bible tells us to cast all our cares on Him because He cares for you. We all deal with problems. We all deal with struggles. We all deal with addictions. You can lay all those down at the cross. The Bible says, love not the world, neither the things in the world. If a man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The Bible says love 547 times. The Bible even tells us to love our enemies. You see, the mark of a true Christian is not that he loves people that love him, but that he loves his enemies. Even the heathen love people that love them. It says in the Bible that if you confess Jesus Christ with your mouth, and if you believe that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. You are saved by grace through faith. It's a gift. Will you receive it? Is your heart soft enough to receive it today? Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Yahweh, I am Elohim, the Creator. God bless you all. God bless you, sir. We're going to help you out. I'm going to help you out before I leave. When you walk in the Spirit, you live by faith. The Bible says that we are justified by grace. We are justified by faith. And we are justified by the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. There was a, a jailer that asked Paul and Silas, How do I be saved? And he said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Do you have a soft heart? Do you have a soft heart? Or do you know everything? Do you believe in the scientific impossibility that everything came from nothing? If you have a soft heart, you can receive the word of God. All your sins will be forgiven. You will be born again and justified as righteous. You see, Jesus died to take upon your sin so you could take upon his righteousness. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Will you receive that gift? The Bible tells us if we receive and believe, then it gives us the power to be born as children of God. 
In the Gospel of John, the Bible says believe over 95 times. Will you believe? A fool says that God isn't real. Professing to be wise, they became fools. How much alcohol do you have to drink? How much weed do you have to smoke? I'm telling you right now, you can lay it down at the cross. You can be free from your sin. Love not the world, neither the things in the world. If a man loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him would never perish, but have everlasting life. Where will you go when you die? You believe in God. You say, OMG. You believe in God. When you get sick, when you get bad things happen, you pray. Believe in him today. Trust in the Lord. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all that you do. He will direct your paths. Hallelujah. All praise to the most high God. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But God showed his love towards us that while we were yet still sinners, he died for us. You see, the wages of sin is death. We can't earn heaven. We earn hell. But if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Salvation is a gift. You are saved by grace through faith, not of works, lest any man boast. This is why Jesus died for you. With one drop of his blood, you can be saved if you believe. Hallelujah. God is love. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Hallelujah. God bless you. Praise God. All praise to the Most High. God bless you. Will you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today and lay all your sin down at the cross? We all feel pain. We all get hurt. What are you going to do with it? How much alcohol do you have to drink? How much weed do you have to smoke before you know what it feels like? No more guilt. No more condemnation. Jesus took it all upon him so you could take upon his righteousness. The Bible says to cast all your anxiety on God because he cares for you. The Bible tells us to be anxious for nothing. Hallelujah. But by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, make your request be made known to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. All praise to the Most High God. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? You see, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God commended his love toward us. While we were yet sinners, he died for us. That's why he went to the cross. And he said, it is finished. To tell us die. It is finished. Meaning when you believe in Jesus Christ, you take upon his righteousness and he takes upon your sins. You can be free from your addictions. You can be free from your pain. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. You are saved by grace through faith. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man boast. And when you believe, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Happy Resurrection Day. God bless you. He is risen. There is no condemnation for those that believe. 
But if you don't believe, you are condemned already. You can be saved today. If you put your faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you can be saved today. How much alcohol do you need to drink before you know what it tastes like? How much weed do you need to smoke before you know what it feels like? I'm telling you right now, there's nothing higher than the Holy Spirit. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I stand in the city of Newport. And I'm resisting the devil. The devil must flee from this city. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus is Lord. This is Jesus' city. The devil needs to flee from this city. Do you believe in your heart? Will you receive the gift of salvation? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Jesus talks of a parable of seed that was sown. Do you have a soft heart? Can you receive this message right now? Can you grow faith in your heart right now? Because you are saved by grace through faith. Not of works. What's up? Hallelujah. Good to see you, brother. Good to see you, man. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All fall short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. Will you trust the Lord? Will you put your faith in the Savior?